Well, joining me now is a Conservative Member of Parliament for Thirsk and Moulton, Kevin Honingrake. And Kevin, you're one of those MPs. <coughs> you, are, you know the Russian-funded campaign against onshore gas extraction was very effective. People were terrified of earthquakes and goodness knows what else. And yet you, despite some of your constituents having fears, all the way through, as I read it, you've wanted us to be energy independent. Absolutely right. And what I don't agree with you on, and we Go both on. agree on energy independence, but yes. what Rishi said today is not about scrapping that desire to get to energy independence. Rishi's already set out, he wants that by 2045, progressively. I'm sorry, just say that again. Yeah, what year? 2045. What use is but that to us? We're not so magically going to go to it in 2045. Progressively, over time, you've got to be realistic, no, Nigel. We just talked earlier about yeah. uh, over-promising, underperforming. Yes. You've got to be realistic. The difficulty with fracking, and, and I've been to Pennsylvania, look at this in the US, I am pro fracking. Mm -hmm. But the difficulty in terms of solving today's problems, even tomorrow's problems, is very slow rollout. That's the reality. It's taken in the USA four or five decades to get there. The mix, you're absolutely right, the mix needs to be include gas and oil, uh, it's particularly when we get to carbon capture and storage and nuclear and offshore wind and onshore wind and hydrogen, a mix of solutions. But it's easy to get the gas and the oil and less politically politically controversial to get it from the North Sea than it is onshore. And there are inherent problems with fracking. It takes time. There are some seismicity issues. There's no guarantee that would be the solution. I think Rishi's solution is more pragmatic and more realistic. And when the lights go out, what do you say to your constituents? Well, that's exactly why we need to set that agenda out, but, but, to get to energy independence as quickly as possible. Kevin, Kevin, come on. You know, you know, we're here but, in 2022. But your solution yeah, won't get yeah, us there yeah, any quicker. Know, I mean, I mean, a lot of us won't still be here. <laughs> Exactly. 45. No, we should have. We should have started years I ago. Mean, we shouldn't. Uh, we? we absolutely well, should. Well, certainly with nuclear. Yeah. Yes, we should have started yes, many years ago. No question about that. Yeah. That gives us base load power, and we know that. We've gone hell for leather for wind energy. Boris Johnson, particularly, we're going to become the Saudi Arabia of wind. I have to say, I, I'm, I'm pretty appalled that we've lumped subsidies onto the electricity bills of the poor uh, to give these giant companies all this money. But hey, there we are. We've done it. But we have to have gas. We have to have gas as the backup for that. I agree. Now, if we were to start onshore gas exploration, it is a reasonable expectation that within two to two and a half years, we would have a good supply of our own gas. And this Prime Minister, and I know you support him, and mm, I'm, I I'm sure you Absolutely. agree with me that he was very strong Absolutely. at the dispatch box, and he was in many ways, but yeah. this Prime Minister has turned his back on what Liz Truss said we'd do. It's got to be politically realistic. If you're going to do it, if you're going to do it in two and two and a half years, you're going to have to completely scrap the planning system that exists today. Now, you may say we should do that. So we roll out fracking everywhere without any democratic accountability. That's not what Liz Truss was going to do. It was all could be a local referenda. That would have been a nightmare. You would not have got fracking through that way. So Liz might have had some great grand promises in terms of fracking, mm -hmm. but they would have not delivered a solution. The way that the USA is people have no say. So the regulator comes along and says, the fracking site's going there and there and there. Politically, you would not get it through. You wouldn't get through the House of Commons. I'm sorry, you won't. Be pragmatic. We're 12 years. Get it years. out of the North Sea. We're 12 years. Well, I, mean, I just care that we get it, all right? Yes, I do too. We're 12 years into a Conservative government. Do you accept that on this key issue of energy, they failed the country completely? We should have done more earlier, of course. But with the benefit of hindsight, that's, everything's easy with the benefit of hindsight. I, I was arguing for fracking in 2015. You know, I, I think it was the right thing to do then. We should have been investing in nuclear back in 2010 when yep. Nick Clegg ruled it out, if yep. you remember. He said it would take until 2022 to bring it online and we could Here have had it are. now. But we are where we find ourselves. Let's make the right decisions now invest in onshore wind, offshore wind, nuclear, North Sea exploration, hydrogen, just as we are doing now, ramp up that investment more quickly because we know what an imperative it is.